How can you get your voice heard by lawmakers and get legislation passed that will benefit the collision repair industry? We're going to find out next. Most legislators are not experts on the collision repair industry or other industries, so they often rely upon those who actually work in any given industry to provide guidance. If body shop owners do not make themselves available, then lawmakers and others will use other sources to gather information, and that could be bad. One of the first steps is developing a personal relationship with your state representative or state senator. Attending a local official's fundraiser is a great start. Another way to ensure that your position is heard as a shop owner is to belong to your state or national association. Repairers have a reasonable expectation that the association will be at the table representing them. Many associations' primary role is to monitor governmental activity, report back to their members, and then employ a strategy of support or opposition based upon the direction provided by the members. Contrary to what many people believe, legislators prefer to hear directly from stakeholders. Nothing is more effective than individual business owners personally meeting with legislators. Of course, we're also busy nowadays that carving out time for such meetings can be a challenge. But arranging a meeting in the district with your local representative or senator is easier than many think. Many are even willing to come to your business, which provides a great opportunity for you to educate them on the specific challenges you face and investments you made in running a collision repair business. Repairers often cite frustration with the legislative process, thinking it's a waste of time. Also, they feel they don't stand a chance against other stronger entities in the industry. But there are plenty of success stories that prove otherwise. I'm Jason Stahl. Thanks for watching.